Hey guys, it's Jamar Dawson from Remnant Outdoors. So, as a kid, I always dreamed of making body armor for the military. I don't know why, but I thought about it. I almost got a job offer after I graduated from college, but I decided to go the natural gas energy type route. But, I figured, hey, I got some land, I got me a couple guns, I can make my own armor. And maybe they'll, you know, contract me on the side or something like that. But, I found a volunteer. I didn't know any other humans that wanted to volunteer to be like a test subject for this, but Manny the mannequin stepped through. He's enthusiastic and he's ready to rock and roll. He don't have much brains on him, but hey, I ain't judging. Let's see what we can do. All right guys, so check it out. We got three different types of samples that I'm gonna test today. The first sample, and they're all wrapped in duct tape, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. The first sample we got is 15 layers of fiberglass. I'm pretty confident it's gonna stop a knife. Matter of fact, I know it's gonna stop a knife. I already tested it back home and it barely penetrated the first layer. But we're gonna do it again just for, you know, laughs and giggles and rainbows and ice creams and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna do that. I don't know if it's gonna stop anything more than that. It may stop an arrow, but maybe not a 22. The kinetic energy at that point is, is pretty tough to overcome and slow down a bullet uh, traveling at, I think around 1200 feet per second for the ones that I got today. So, and it's gonna, all this is a full metal jacket. All the bullets are full metal jacket. I don't have any jacket hollow points. Although I might throw one in. I got some, some nine millimeter jacket hollow points I might try. But that's the first layer. Uh, I'm sorry, the first sample. And it only weighs about three fourths of a pound. All of the samples that I got are close to nine by nine squares. So that's the first sample. The second sample is just straight up cardboard and four ceramic plates. So I got four plates in a line. I mean, I don't believe it's gonna stop a whole lot. However, I just wanted to really test the ballistic capabilities of a ceramic plate, a ceramic tile or whatever you can find at a Lowe's or home goods store like that. Um, the reason why I have just four is so when the bullet strikes one, it's not gonna spider web out, hopefully to the other ones and, and compromise the integrity of those. So that's the second sample I got. The third sample is the big daddy. So the second sample, I don't know if I said it, but that's like 1.8 pounds, right? Well, the third sample, it's four and a half pounds, which isn't too heavy, but it's, it's quite thick. It's about uh, an inch thick right around there. Um, and the first layer I got is a hardened uh, ceramic plate meant for like hot plate purposes. I got this from like a Salvation Army. And so that one I believe is really though, I mean it's, it's really tough, really thick. And I believe it's gonna start to slow the bullet down considerably. Uh, the next layer I have like little micro dots, which are ceramic still, but they're spread out over an area and they're basically touching but they're just spread out so that it, it, there won't be any more spider webbing uh, past that point. Hopefully it's going to act like a shock absorber and I can go over that in a second. And then the last layer that I have is a 15 layer sheet of fiberglass or 15 sheets of fiberglass and that's pretty tough. I believe if anything does get through the first plate and the second matrix ceramic plates I think it's going to get caught by that last layer of 15 uh, sheets of fiberglass. But we'll see. I'm really excited. This is going to be a blast. Man, um, just enjoy yourselves. I'm going to do more videos like this in the future. But oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this for almost two weeks. So hey, Hillary, if you win the election, these aren't my guns, okay? This is a friend of a friend's guns. And I don't even know that guy. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to get you know blacklisted or or anything like that. We're just out here having some fun. God bless. Let's see what we can do. All right, this is the first sample. Uh, just the 15 sheets of fiberglass. This is the knife. I don't know why I have these headphones. All right, I could already tell it didn't penetrate very far. All right, so you can see it's just a little bit of mark here, uh, but nothing came out the back. So I think it's kind of clear to say we could survive um, a knife attack with this first sample that I got. All right, let's step it up a little bit. Sounded like it went through. I heard a pretty loud thud on him. Yeah, I definitely got some penetration. All right, so here's the entry hole. There's the exit hole, it just went right through there. So 15 layers is probably not enough. <laughs> There's some fiberglass stuck in here. So, oddly enough, it did not penetrate out the back of him though. So he has a little bit of a uh, entry wound, so to speak, but the round did not penetrate all the way through the mannequin. So that's just positive, I guess. Uh, I guess if I was to do like 15 layers, then perhaps it would have stopped it. 
So anyway, let's go ahead and move to our next sample. So I guess we could say the best thing this can do is penetrate or prevent a knife attack. All right, so this is the second sample here. We're gonna skip the knife. I know that a knife is probably not gonna penetrate a ceramic plate, but we're gonna find out if a 22 will. Sound like it has some penetration to it. All right, so here's the entry hole here. Well, there's no exit. There's a little bit of a bulge right there, as you can see. Um, and I could feel some crushed ceramic. I don't know if you can hear that. And that whole area right there, you can see just almost the size of a, a 50 cent piece right there is um, it's completely blown out. But it did stop the round. That's pretty incredible. I'm pretty sure because I can feel it right here. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna stop a nine millimeter. So, I don't even wanna try. I wanna save that for the big daddy. All right, let's go on to sample number three. Okay, so this is the last sample I got. This is the big daddy, the uh, one inch thick, four and a half pound uh, hybrid body armor. Um, we're just gonna see what happens. And as you can see, I'm putting it in here and you know, we're using like a metal pole so it's not falling forward, but I can already see it's, it's, it's kind of pulling down a little bit. But man, I have full confidence that this is gonna do some major stoppage. Are right, this the 22? All right, we can see that it really just fractured and I think it bounced right off we're gonna go see if we can recover that but man it really didn't do any major damage I thought it was gonna be much more of some spider webbing here but that ceramic plate really just shrugged that round off certainly no penetration whatsoever so let's step it up to the nine millimeters very impressed there you go. And here's the round Completely flattened it. That's great. It's real good. All right, this is 115 grain, nine millimeter. All right. <laughs> You can see the round right here. There's definitely some separation. I probably uh, should have aimed in a different location. This is real similar to where the 22 hit. But you could already see the round. It completely kind of tore apart in here. Uh, it busted through this first layer with really no problem at all. It got to the second layer, but like I said, I probably should aim a little bit higher. Um, but it did not get to the fiberglass. So let's step it up a notch to the 40 cal. Pretty big entry hole there. No exit hole though. <laughs> and I probably shot it a little too close yet again. Um, and you can see like all the, you can see little tiles and, and all that crumbling out of here. But man, it stopped it. It freaking stopped it. You can kind of see where the delamination and stuff is. And um, all this is held together by liquid nails. But man, it looks like it's going through those first couple uh, layers of defense and it's stopping at that fiberglass. And that one I laid up for 24 hours versus 12 hours with the other one. Well, can only do one thing from here. Let's test it with a shotgun. All right, for the shotgun segment of this, I'm gonna get my good friend Robert. Say hi, Robert. Hey, how's it going? Robert's from the Bayou, he's a shotgun man. Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. We're gonna see what happens when a one ounce slug meets my body armor. <laughs> I 
All right, go ahead and spin them around. Woo! Yeah, I could already see that. Goodness gracious. <laughs> wow, definitely some delamination. I could see a hole there. Yeah, hole for the shirt. Oh, man. It doesn't look like he survived this no. one. <laughs> hole through the back. Well, I think it's safe to say that shotgun rounds, uh, at least a, a one ounce slug, is probably not uh, defeatable by this body armor right now. This is a 5.56 round. Pretty confident this is not going to be stopped by my body armor, but hey, we got it out of here. So there's the entry right there, <laughs> and there's the exit. <laughs> so yeah, this guy definitely didn't make it. Definitely didn't make it. The good news, though, is that I think we're about safe from any handgun rounds. Uh, but anything that's like a shoulder fire weapon, any type of long gun, uh, we're gonna have to do something a little bit more intense. Well, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. God bless.